In this video, I'm going to be talking about coterminal angles. Now, two angles in standard position are called coterminal if they have the same terminal side. Here's my angle A drawn in standard position. That means the vertex is at the origin. The initial side is along the positive x-axis. Since A is positive, I'm going to rotate in a counterclockwise direction, 120 degrees, which will give me the terminal side in quadrant 2. Now, how can I get other angles that have the same initial and terminal side? Well, I can just add one revolution of 360 degrees and then I will get to the same terminal side. Or I could add another 360 degrees. Or starting with my initial angle A, I can subtract 360 degrees and subtract another one, etc. So what this means is that coterminal angles will always differ from each other by a multiple of 360 degrees if your angle is in degrees or 2 pi radians if your angle is in radians. And every angle has an infinite number of coterminal angles because we can keep adding 360 or we can keep subtracting 360. So let's look at a couple of coterminal angles for 120 degrees. Let's add 360 to it. We get 480 degrees. And how would we graph that? It's one complete revolution plus 120 degrees. So that is the way we would graph the angle 480 degrees, which is coterminal with 120 degrees. Now let's subtract 360 degrees and we'll get negative 240 degrees. And how do we graph a negative angle? Remember that is a clockwise rotation from the initial side to the terminal side. So here's your angle negative 240 graphed right here. And negative 240 and 120 are coterminal angles. Next, we can add two rotations, or 2 times 360 degrees, which is 720 degrees. That will give us 840 degrees. How do we graph that? It would be two whole rotations plus 120 degrees. So here's 840 graphed right here. And 840 degrees and 120 degrees are coterminal angles. Next, I'm going to subtract two rotations, or I'm going to subtract 720 degrees. That will give me negative 600. And how do we graph negative 600 degrees? It's one full rotation in the negative direction and then another negative 240 degrees. So far, I've found one, two, three, four angles that are coterminal to 120 degrees. But often in these types of problems, we're asked to find the least positive coterminal angle. So I have to have a positive angle and if I keep adding 360, my angles are going to get bigger. So the least positive coterminal angle is 480 degrees. Then we're often asked for the greatest negative coterminal angle. And of all the negative angles, the biggest one is going to be negative 240 degrees because that is less negative than all the other coterminal angles that are negative. So the greatest negative coterminal angle is negative 240 degrees. And finally, to find all coterminal angles, you take 120 degrees, the given angle, 
and the way we represent adding and subtracting multiples of 360 degrees is we write 120 degrees plus 360 degrees times n, where n represents any integer. You do not have to use the variable n, you could use k or a different variable, but you must state it represents any integer.